What is going on, everybody? Back on it. Vagabond 236, 7, 8, 9, and 40. We are officially clear of 100 chapters left. We've been cranking this out. I feel like we've been just cranking, cranking, cranking. Um, so we got less than 100 chapters left. I'm so curious, kind of like, because to my understanding, it's not like a planned stoppage, you know, kind of like where the chapters just come to a screeching halt, where I guess the story's been for the last like 5, 10, 15, 20 years. I'm curious where the story kind of leaves off at um, and what's going to be the next major, I guess, plot point after this. Um, we're currently going 1v70. I would say we've taken out 40 to 50, somewhere in there. Um, we are starting to get, you know, stabbed and sliced and nicked and tackled and bitten and, you know, all those type of things as we get a little bit closer, but there's not much, I mean, there's still a decent amount of men left, but compared to 70, like we've really made up some ground here. We saw Kajuro asking for Takezo, so that was pretty cool to see. Um, and yeah, I'm just very curious to kind of how this goes. And then there's been this talk about, cause in the story, I think this is the second time they've mentioned it in like back-to-back -back arcs of, you know, time period and everything considered you know the way of the sword is kind of dying off there's other ways to it you know there's other technological and weapons and things like that than just like regular samurai swordsmen or whatever you want to call them the time period is moving past that you know we don't have to use swords when we can shoot projectiles <laughs> you know um so I'm curious kind of like how many how many more great battles might there be where it's just swords, you know? Or how many people, like Kajuro and Takezo might be the last of a dying breed here. The, the breed is dying, but they might be the last. Between those two, maybe Inshun still. Um, and Inshun, I know, doesn't use a sword. And the Yagyu's grandson. But as far as these like hand-to-hand -hand combat type things, we're like, oh, so he's proficient in a spear and he's proficient in a sword and yet... Like that, that is just going to get left behind. So I'm curious, like, because it's always him fighting, him fighting. We might be running out of options here to fight. Um, so I'm curious if we even get to that point by the time I get to, what is it, 327. So we'll see. And then they showed us that Ueda is still alive, which I, uh, I don't know. I, it depends if he does anything. I kind of liked how sometimes they show, they show the coldness of, someone to choosing to live by the way of the sword. You're not going to go out in a blaze of glory. Nobody's going to remember your name if you just go out there and die, you know? That's the life you chose. You might just, like, when Takeza was a kid and he found that random guy just dead in that cave, like, you might just die somewhere alone. You're not going to die in a great battlefield going 1v70 and have stories written about you forever, you know? For every one of these stories that's 1v70, there's 70,000 stories of like men, kids going out there thinking they want to live by the way of the sword and they don't even make it past their first like encounter, you know? So I kind of like that a little bit, how they were going with Ueda there with him being, looked like he's got his face chopped off and dead, but he seems to be, he seems to still be conscious. He seems to still want to have a part to play in this. So we'll see what we got. Let me drag this over here. Come over here and press play on that. Boop, bop, boop. That's turned up. Yep, 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 yep. Come over here and turn it down in my headphones. All right, you guys should be able to see my cursor. I think we're circling this bird right now. Mike is crispy. All right, and we're recording. 2.36. Shit, I'm finished, I can't even move. I should just lie down, I've done enough. I'll die at the end of this ridiculous carnage. Yeah, that's good. I live my... Oh, man, he's really, like... <laughs> like, accepting it. As he's still killing, though, by the way. I live my life the way I wanted to. As he's over here... Dismembering grown men still at the end of it all. Is that... Oh, God, he's thinking of Taquan. Is that true? Like, I'm so curious if this ends with him taking out all 70 or somehow this gets stopped, you know? Throat's burning. 
I've lived a full life my way. <sighs> Double amputeed him. That look in it, Musashi, that look in his eyes. Where is he looking? Can he even see anything? Anything at all? He's completely exhausted, and yet, the force behind his sword has increased. Adrenaline's a crazy drug, ain't it? Must attack. Guys, you guys were actually, like, making semi-progress here when you guys were doing the whole, you know, 10 of us go at one time. Now we're doing the 70 solos again. What's going on, guys? And everyone's just getting plucked off one by one by one. Why are we back to this again? Sensei. Yochi Sensei. Together. We must rush in. <laughs> yeah. If I had a dollar for every time they've said that these last 10 or 15 chapters and they continue to not do it. I wish we were able to keep an accurate counter so I could be like, okay, 15 left. 14. 13. I just have no idea where we're at. He's staggering. Don't let up on him. Dead. Oh, our sword got stuck. Oh, shit. Well, we still got our blade. So right now there's one, two, three, four, five around him that we can see. And then take the guy that ran up on you, Ueda. So we can confirm seven. I can't confirm any higher than that at the moment. You've become flexible. The more flexible you are, the greater depth you achieve. What's that? Confidence? <laughs> he still keeps thinking about these old men. Flexibility is confidence. Trying too hard makes one too rigid. Faith in oneself is what makes up confidence. See here and here too. Expand yourself. Have confidence in the very air that surrounds you. As long as you remain enveloped in this pliant air... You will feel invincible, and when this air expands out to drape itself around your opponents, what do you think will happen then, Musashi? The fact that like he's having these conversations within his own mind, because he's never expanded on these type of conversations with these people. I mean, a little bit with the first old man, but... Alright, 237. Something along the way. We're back to these watercolors here. Let me turn this down a little bit. I can't even hear myself talk. The watercolors are actually going kind of crazy right now. I'm not going to lie. That's a pretty nice shot. As he just kills and kills and kills. Wait, hold on. We said we were there was seven left that we could confirm for sure, right? So does this take us down to six? Does this take us down to five? Possibly down to four. Maybe. It's as if his arms, no, the tip of his sword, has a life of its own. I can't really see through his technique. Not as if I can truly grasp what it is, but still. It makes me want to practice more. Oh, somebody wants to have a life beyond this, huh? I feel as if even now, this is my chance. I can strive to achieve greater things, greater heights. What are you going to do, man? You going in or not? <laughs> you dying or what? Is that him? Greater heights. Okay. I think we're down to three or two. Okay, no, here we go. We got a better look here. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so at the time where I thought we had like five or six, we really had like closer to 12, 15. So we've got five plus Ueda, which who knows what he counts at as at this point, and the guy that walked up on Ueda. So all that I can confirm right now at the moment is seven. Could be, st I think we're probably still more than seven, but. Oh, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, these are the five. Hold on now. Because even he's like, wait, is this it? <laughs> I don't know. Do a quick, were you not keeping count? Which I guess it's hard to keep count when you're trying to live. Only this many left? I'm going to make it? I can get out of this? Oh, this guy over here. This hell? I'll leave Kyoto? 
He's looking too far ahead. Oh no. Oh no. I'm going to make it. I'm going to escape this spiral of killing. <laughs> After he probably goes on this on this on the single-handedly greatest killing spree a swordsman has ever done and probably doubled if not tripled the amount of men he single-handedly killed now you want to escape the spiral of killing insane do we just get this okay he's over here celebrating and just got his ass disarmed Coming only thus this far along the way, I have no regrets. Shit. We've got to get our hands on something. As long as I can take this fiend with me, you better get your hands on a blade. Oh, fuck. We're doing with the tackle method again. <laughs> Alright. 238. What are we? 6, 7, 8, 9, and 40? Okay. Okay, we got him off of us. Did we get him? Okay, we picked one up off the ground. Nice. Changing times. What happened to that air? The flexibility? An unbearable sight this is. Karando is Musashi still alive? Is this Ueda? Or are they that? Are they? Are they right there? I thought Ueda was like way like out of seeing distance, out of sight. They're, like, right there. Yes, and you can count our numbers on a single hand. Forgive me, everyone. I promise you, Ochi, that I would look after our master. So we are, I think we are down to the final five. Or four, because he just took one out. No, four here plus those two. Okay, so we're down six. Six. As long as Ueda survives, the Yoshiaka school will live on. Is he going to survive? Say, Karando, he's just a single man, and with his, many of us, we still couldn't manage to cut him down. We'll be the laughing stock of the city, yeah? Honestly, you won't be the laughing stock of the city because there'll be none of you left, so there'll be none of you to be like, oh man, I can't believe they're laughing at us for that failure. There won't be any, there won't be a school, like it's just done. They'll think four or five men should have been enough to ambush Musashi. Most of those gossipers will have never even held a, yep. Never held a wooden practice sword. A long time ago, five men faced a single man. After being prodded and intimidated into fear, we entered the fray. I didn't think I was underestimating the power of a single man. Alright, we're down to five. Oh, shit. Four. All right, the hair is now come undone. <laughs> the difference is in one's resolve. It lies between those who have lived naked and exposed and those who have been sheltered. Correct. Between those who are committed to climbing the highest peak and those who are content, content to gaze down upon their own town from a small hill. I think we're down to three. Yep. Three surrounding us plus the two talking by the tree. Do we even count you eight as one? Until he's dead, because you never know what they could be. He counts, okay? We're down, to, we're down to five. The turbulent times and battles are coming to an end, and the sword is losing its value. Correct? I keep talking about it. This is only the beginning. Why did this man in anarchism really suddenly present himself before us? I put much thought into this. He's really going through it all as he's dying. The reputation and honor of the, of the Yoshiaka was founded upon the value of the sword. And in these changing times, the Yoshiaka is being sapped of the very spirit upon which it was founded. Perhaps Master Kempo sent that man to us to tear us down before the Yoshiaka loses every last bit of its true spirit. I guess that's one way to look at it. Maybe. But here's the thing, though, like, even if that's true, this 1v70 where the school is getting just stripped down to the studs where there's going to be nothing left of it, that wasn't his doing. That was your rage. Like, you just had to get revenge. You could have been left alone. You could have tried to build the reputation back up. But again, it's like, like he said, times are changing the way of the sword. is. So it was like, could you even have built it? But I don't know. It didn't. You guys made this choice, though. This was not something he sought. Is that it? 
I didn't think I was underestimating the power of a single man. I don't see anybody else standing. But I didn't expect him to overcome this, which means I am also amongst the sheltered and protected. For that, I deserve to die. But did we see him cut down these three? I guess the images of this one... Uh... You know, we didn't see him cut down the three, but there's nobody left standing around him. I can't wait for word to spread. Like, I really want this word to spread. I don't know how it gets spread because there's nobody alive to, like, tell it. But somebody's going to walk up on, on this scene. Whether it's in a couple minutes, hours, days. Someone is going to walk up here. There might be the smell of blood might blow in through the breeze. They don't see the birds just hover, crows and shit just hovering. Somebody's going to see this. And there's only going to be one explanation for it. Like, who would have the power to do that? The same guy that just killed the two brothers. Like, I can't wait for the, like, the lore <laughs> to get out there. You wait, I've always thought of you as an older brother. This body of mine must last a little longer. A few moments is all I ask for. <sighs> well, there's two left. I knew there was no way they were going to have Ueda go out without a moment. I kind of wanted it to, but there was no shot. No shot. All right, we've got two chapters left. And I think there's only two men left. In confronting this man, how many truly committed themselves to this fight? Correct. No, but half of them didn't even want to be here, man. When the enemy came before us, we all reacted in the same way. We lowered our eyes and looked at the man standing by our side. And in turn, that man would look at the man beside, at the man by his side. That's what it came down to. The mighty Yoshiaka, we completely failed. What dishonor. You is getting some dope looking shots though. As it all comes down to it. Yeah, you can't have any stragglers, bro. It takes one person to like slice the back of his leg to really fuck us up. And it, you might as well ease their suffering, right? Blood stained mud. I don't see anybody else, so unless somebody's like sitting in wait, which I would 100% not trust. Like, I don't trust that there's not somebody down here like perfectly fine. Like, maybe they got sliced, but not like critical. And they're waiting for a moment for us to like walk by them or something crazy. Like, you need to have your head on a swivel. A swivel. The biggest swivel. Look at this. As if I'm a beginner who's never held a sword before. My movements became quite awkward near the end. Awful, but I was up against 70 men. I survived. Oh, shit. Here, I'll return this to you. Bro, I don't trust this dude. You better get something in your hands immediately. Immediately. Did he just throw up? I think he did. My sword, where is it? Koetsu took such care on working on it. Such care working on it. Bro, please pick up a, a sword just in case somebody is, like, trying to hit you with the okie doke This isn't it. Hey. Kill me? Oh, shit. Fin this dude's just over here got his insides bleeding out. Please finish me off. Curse you. My spirit will remain to put a curse on you. Is he just saying his name? Yeah. Come to your father. Please. Kill me. Finish me off. I mean, I don't have any ill will. Like, if I'm him... It's not like you've been a, like an enemy that's killed my family members or people that I loved or cared about. I guess I wouldn't mind, like, just going over there and, like, double-tapping the head real quick, but that depends on how he feels about it. Look at this shit. Look at this shit is what I'm talking about, man. Do you see what I'm saying? Where the fuck did this... Did this just happen? Did somebody just blink on us right now? I'm only interested in sharpening for those purposes of such beauty... Only for those purposes of such beauty. It's got nothing to do with beauty. There it is. Still can't find my short sword, but I've looked long enough. Bro, you gotta get the fuck out of here. I'm going to leave Kyoto. I wish he'd go stop by their place for a second. Pain. Only now am I starting... Yeah, the adrenaline's running out. Running out. 
now that he's kind of like <sighs> dropped to his knees and taking a deep breath and saying, you know, I've done it. Shit's going to really start. S this is, oh God. I mean, we just talked about it, bro. You better have your head on a swivel and get a sword in your hand to think that you kill shot at every single one of them. And he even made statements like, oh man, I thought I finished him. And they keep zooming in on these guys, making me think that they're exactly. Oh, it's the two. It's the two remaining. It's Ueda face down and the other one. Okay. All right. I'll give him a pass. But still, though, like... Oh, we have one more chapter, right? Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, good, 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 good. Because this is about to end. All right. Let's see how this goes. 240. Uh, pain. I'm just starting to feel it throughout my entire body. There it is, my sword. You better get that on your hands quick. Oh, are they chanting with the kid in uh, Demon Slayer chants? Stone Hashira? I think that's what he says, no? You killed them? Each and every person you killed had his own life. Whether that life was blessed or not, everyone is born into this world and they grow up. Some people have family, some are alone in this world, some have young children, some are engaged, some have pets. Some people have high hopes and dreams. Others have no ambition at all. You you ended everything for them, Takezo. You killed them. I would love Taquan to walk up on this site. Because like we've never really seen Taquan flustered, you know? He always has a remark. He always has something to say. But do you think he's ever seen a site like this? Do you think he's ever seen anything like this and seen the, seen the ones... Maybe he's walked up on battlefields before. Do you think he's ever walked up on something like this where one man just slaughtered an entire school, an entire clan, 70-something men? Or I would love to see Otsu or Jotaro or someone walk up on us. Inshun, anybody. Here we go. They're about to try it. My sword. Well, here's the thing. You know, if this was, if I, so we're on chapter 240, right? If I knew that Vagabond had an end chapter, let's say the end chapter for Vagabond was like 250, right? And it ended at 250. I would say, okay, Takezo could straight up 100% die here. Or like they injure him enough while he kills them, but he dies from his wounds or whatever. There's only 10 chapters left. The main character doesn't have to survive the story. I know, you know, <laughs> we all know, they don't kill him here. Even though I know the story of Vagabond's not finished, we're not about to go another 80-something chapters and Takezo is dead, right? So we all, we are all aware of that. Um... I'm very curious how this goes right here. Does he really just like sense them last second, like shoulder shake that shit and just pop, pop one, two or what? Cause the adrenaline's already worn off. It's starting to wear off. So let's see how it goes. There it is. No way y'all get the ambush and miss. Oh shit. Here we go. My last spark of life. And it literally comes down to this. All right, Ueda. <laughs> Go ahead and give him his moment. One sword. All right. So one's got him held from the front. He's literally holding him. It's up to Ueda to get the kill shot. We'll see. As they pan away. Oh, shit. You won't die. Master, you didn't have to. You must stop this sort of thing. It's all part of the. It's all part of training. Some things you, you cannot gain from mere practice alone. I've heard you've been sullying the name of my school. Well, everyone will now know who did this to you. Go spread the word about us now. Oh, 30 year flashback, damn it. And there's not that many pages left for the chapters I can see in the scroll wheel. So we're not gonna get the conclusion of him getting jumped there at the end. Near the spreading pine, it's a random baby saved by a wolf. An abandoned child, you shall have an auspicious encounter. Could this be what the fortune teller was referring to? Who is this kid, Ueda? <laughs> is he getting his flashback that I talked about here right before he gets his shit kicked in? You're an odd one, not a single tear. 
Circumstances have prevented me from raising this child. What could be more important than raising a child? It says here his name is Ryoe. I don't know if that's Ueda's first or last name, to be honest. How could you abandon a child you named? What do you say? Good. Cry your heart out. Yes, cry all you want. Ueda, yes. Raise this child as your own. Wait, wait, wait. Who's... Is the the man in the old hat's name you waited? Did he just give him this name? Is that what's about to happen right here? I think so. Were you always showing good progress? Stop, that's it. He holds his own against young Master Sudra. Okay, this is, this is. Okay, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. An auspicious encounter indeed. He has innate skill. Look at them as if they're all three brothers. And Takezo kills every single one of them. Oh, and they call it right there. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, I think maybe back at like 238, we had a pretty good shot. Was it 238? I kind of like the shot of where he had his like hair. Like, I thought that was a pretty great shot. Or this one. Um, but also the one where he's like down on his knees saying he won is a pretty great shot as well. Was it here? It was, I survived. That one's not bad either. I don't think it beats 238 though. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, I know, we all know. He doesn't die here. And it looks like you wait and made contact with somebody. Who, what, when, where, how? I don't know. Um, but now they're doing the classic what I expect, like... Ueda is thinking about like, oh, what was the purpose of it all? Where was the school going to go after this? You know, Denshi Churro thought of me like this. And now we're getting into his like flashback of like him growing up with the boys. Like this is proper. Or I guess not proper. This is just how typically you kill off characters that have had any type of substance to the story. They've given lesser characters more background than what they gave Ueda when I first thought he got his face cut off 10 chapters ago. Um... So we'll see how it goes down. We'll see. I'm just, I'm ready for the aftermath of it all. I want to see like the word spread out there. I want people to see like the carnage of it all and just word go out. Like, like I'd love to see them catch up with like Inchun and he hear about it and people at the Yagyu. And uh, so we'll see if it goes that route. Um, but I would love like Taquan or Kajuro to like walk up on this site, like right after we finish killing the last two, that would be some prime stuff. But, um, We'll leave it there and see. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, subscribe, and as always...